Hello creatives, welcome back to the channel. Mike here, AKA Matrix 75. Welcome back to Beyond Art. This video marks my 100th video, which is pretty cool. It's a little milestone in my journey here on YouTube. If you're new to the channel, take a look around. I have 100 videos. I have a variety to choose from. If you've been riding with me for all these years, I just wanna say thank you. I appreciate it. One thing I wanna talk about today is a subject matter that's near and dear to my heart, and that is collaboration. Collaboration is one of the best ways to make some dramatic, intense art that you didn't always have that much control of. One of the best things to do is collaborate with another artist that you admire and work on something that you didn't see coming, was unexpected, or something that was grander than you thought that you could do alone, which is just outstanding. I don't get the chance to collaborate with many artists, and that's why I try to take advantage of it as much as possible. Um, most of the artists that I know work sporadically. They don't continuously put out work, and they definitely don't share that much. So one of my near and dear friends that I grew up with since high school, one of the best artists that I know, his name is Aubrey Franklin, and he lives in Texas. Back in uh, April, I got a chance to hang out with that guy and uh, for his birthday, which was really, really cool. It's a special experience. <laughs> One thing that kind of shook me to the core is I didn't think he was doing that much artwork. I knew that he drew a lot in high school, we used to work together every once in a while, but um, he just kind of stopped drawing just like many other artists do. And I've been nagging him about it forever just to get him to do it because I'm such a fan of his artwork and I want to see new material. I mean, that's that's the one thing when you're a fan, you just want to see more work from your favorite artists. And he was one of my favorite, but his style was missing. I, I, I didn't get a chance to see it too often. And I found one of his old sketchbooks and he hadn't been working with it that much, but it was a surprise to me because I saw a lot of artwork that I hadn't seen before. And it just goes to show that it's never really out of your system. He might not be working continuously, but he's definitely working. And he had these really, really cool ideas that were just ideas, mere sketches or very, very close to completed illustrations, but not yet complete. And so I took some shots of him. He did mine. And a matter of fact, uh, a couple of weeks ago, he sent me a number of different sketches that he just was just unfinished work that he wanted to finish, but just didn't have the time to do it. So <laughs> I took some of those sketches and had a ball within the last two weeks, just followed his lead. These are his pieces. They're not mine, but I got a chance to uh, trace and this is one thing that artists are always nagging about and and complaining if you trace and whatnot. But if you have to ink, you're going to trace. And it actually felt really, really good just to not try to take control of the creativity. I was actually following his lead. And not only that, I let his concepts, I just let it go. I didn't have to make any decisions, which is a great thing. And it got me out of the driver's seat for once, which is really, really cool. I just got a chance to follow his lead and make sure that I somehow tried to amplify what he already created, which was really fun to do. And I hope I did it justice. So far, I sent him a couple of them, but he has no idea what I've really done. Um, I just want to say to those artists that have the ability to create, but just don't choose to do it as often. I mean, you know me, if you've been riding with me this long, you know the fact that I want everyone to create as much as possible. Just, just spill your brain out in front of a canvas. We want to see what's going on in there. I want everybody to 
be their most creative selves. And if you already have the skill and the talent to do it, just sharpen your skills a little bit, practice and get back in there and just let the world know what you have in store. It's hard to do. Uh, and I'll say this again and again, sharing what you have created is a hard thing to do, but I want you to do it anyway. As always, please give a like, share and subscribe to the channel. 100 videos. Woohoo! Here's to the next 100 videos. This is Mike, aka Matrix75, and I'll see you next time.